This tutorial will demonstrate how to send a project to the eCraft machine. First, we want to make sure that the eCraft is connected to the computer using the USB cable provided in the box. Next, we will power on the eCraft machine. Now that those two items are done, we can now open the eCraft Shop Pro software. Now that the software is open, we can go ahead and open the project that we created from part two. There are several ways to open the project. You can go to File, click on Open Project, you can use the shortcut keys which is Control and O, or you can click on the icon that's on the screen, Open Project. Now go ahead and find the file that you created in part two. Once you've located the file, either double click or single click on the file and select the word open. Before we send the design to the eCraft, we need to make sure that the eCraft is set up properly for vinyl. After powering on the eCraft, the settings window will appear. We're going to scroll down using the arrow keys around the enter button to tab settings and then select enter. On the tab settings screen we want to make sure that the amount is set to zero and you'll notice the width automatically goes to zero and once we are there go ahead and select the enter key and the window will close and you can hit the back mode button to go back to the main screen. And Now we have set the tabs and we're going to set the pressure that is on the trolley and hopefully you can see it. <laughs> uh, the number one is right now that it's on the trolley and if you scroll the little wheel you can see the numbers changing. I use the setting of one for vinyl. Some people use two but I found that this indicator light here will turn blue meaning you are cutting through the vinyl and with that we don't we don't want that so you can kind of play around with it but I found that one works for me. And I use a piece of cardstock stabilizer. It's just a regular piece of cardstock. And I'll usually feed this through about a half an inch first. And then I'll stick my vinyl in. And just using the arrow keys around the cut button is how you feed in the vinyl. And I usually just feed the vinyl in until it's almost flush with the trolley. And then now we're ready to send our design to the eCraft machine. Now that we have the eCraft machine set up with the tabs and pressure setting and the vinyl is in place, we are now ready to send the project to the eCraft. Again, there are several ways you can do this. You can select File, Send to eCraft, you can use the shortcut keys, which is Control and E, or you can select the icon on the screen, Send to eCraft. Now we have a mode selection option. You can print from the tray or from the front roll option. I use the front roll option. Note that as soon as you hit this button, the machine will automatically start cutting immediately. So make sure you have everything in place before you select this button. And once you select this button, you'll notice the next screen that appears will be canceled. So if for some reason you want to cancel your cut, select the button on the screen to cancel and it will stop the eCraft from cutting any further. So I'm going to go ahead and select the front roll mode.